I, I mean, look, I, I knew Donald Trump wasn't going to agree with me, that he wasn't going to embrace my vision. I understood he wasn't going to continue my policies. But I did hope that he was going to show some interest in taking the job seriously. Right? I mean, if, if you get elected president, if you run for president and you become president, the assumption is you are going to take the job seriously. That you're going to understand the solemn obligation when you are sworn in office. But he never took it seriously. He, did, he, he hasn't shown any interest in just doing the work or helping anybody but himself or his friends or treating the presidency as anything more than a reality show to give him the attention that he craves so desperately. And the rest of us have had to live with the consequences. Almost 230,000 Americans have died. More than 100,000 small businesses have closed. Almost, almost 300,000 jobs are gone in Michigan alone. America just had its single worst week of new cases. We've been living with this thing for months now. And we just had the worst week in terms of incidents. And in the face of that, what is Donald Trump's closing argument? No, he says that people are too focused on COVID. COVID, 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 he's complaining. He's jealous of COVID's media coverage. But, but that's not enough. Now he's starting to accuse doctors of profiting off of this pandemic. He actually said this. He said, they're making a big deal out of it so they can make more money. Who says that? Here, you've got doctors who are risking their lives to save other people, who have to, every time they go in and then they come home, they have to completely isolate themselves, remove all their protective garments, shower, scrub, do everything just to make sure their own families don't get sick. In some cases, don't get to see their families. And he's saying they're doing that to make a buck? He can't fathom that somebody would be willing to make sacrifices for others unless there was some economic motivation. That's how he thinks. And now he, we've got his chief of staff saying, <laughs> he, he said this on TV said, we're not going to control the pandemic. I just, just flat out just said, we're not going to control it. We noticed. Yes, you're right. And that's why we've got to have Joe Biden and Kamala Harris in the White House, because you're not going to control the pandemic. I, they, they just got kind of like a... I, I guess I'm dating myself. You guys remember Mad Magazine, the older people do. Remember, and then you got, had Alfred E. Newman? Remember, he had that big grin, funny looking dude, ears like mine. And he used to say, what me worry? Uh, he didn't worry about anything. That's, that's how these guys are. What, what, why should I be worried? The same way, you remember when Republicans were saying, let Detroit go bankrupt. You remember that? And now they might as well just be saying, let America get COVID. It's not our problem. You're exaggerating it. That's what they are literally saying every day. Listen, if Trump were focused on COVID from the beginning, cases wouldn't be reaching new record highs across the country. And, and, and some of the places he's holding rallies have seen new spikes after he leaves town. He's going around having events, big events, no masks, no protective gear, no, no precautions. What's his obsession with crowds anyway? I mean, he's still worrying. He's, he is still talking about his inauguration crowd being small. Although he doesn't admit it. Does he have nothing better to worry about? That was four years ago. I mean, what kind of trauma did he go through? Did, did no one come to his birthday parties when he was a kid? Is, is, is Fox News not giving him enough attention? Lord.
And that's the difference between Joe Biden and, and, and Donald Trump right there. Trump cares about feeding his ego. Joe cares about keeping you safe and your family safe and getting this country moving again. And that's why you've got to make sure that every single one of you vote. Look, th this pandemic would have been challenging for any president. But this idea that somehow this White House has done anything but completely screw this up, well, the facts tell, say otherwise. Canada, right across the way. Used to be you could go there, remember? Can't go right now. It turns out this administration was building a wall to keep us in by bungling this pandemic. Canada identified its first case the same week that the U.S. did. The same, same week. Our mortality rate, the number of people who die per capita, is two and a half times higher. If we had the same mortality rate as they do, then around 90,000 Americans would have died, which would still be a tragedy, but it wouldn't be 230,000. If we had handled this pandemic like Canada did, 140,000 of our fellow Americans might still be alive today. That's, that's, that's a sign of how much leadership in the White House matters. It matters. This is not a game. This is not a contest of, of just, you know, calling each other names. This isn't a sporting event. This is life or death. And last week, when, when Donald Trump was asked, would you do anything differently? He said, not much. Not much. Not really can't think. You can't think of anything you'd do differently? I, look, there, there is not a thing I did as president where I didn't look back and say, man, I could have done that a little bit better. I, I could have done it. Even the stuff that worked. He can't think of one thing? Not one thing. Not one thing. Oh, Lord. Look, I, I, I understand this is a president who wants full credit for the econ economy he inherited and gets zero blame for the pandemic he ignored. But the job doesn't work that way. Tweeting at the TV doesn't fix things. Making stuff up doesn't make people's lives better. You've got to have a plan. You've got to do the work. And along with the experience to get things done, Joe Biden has concrete plans and policies that will turn our vision of a better, fairer, stronger country into reality. Joe Biden is not going to screw up testing. 